Lord Yuan Chao. The power of ultimate beauty is its ability to captivate others. Let us greet Master Leo Bei with this glorious treasure. This is the ultimate strategy. I doubt anybody could object to its brilliance. There is a craftsman in northeastern Guangzhou who makes the finest treasures. We should obtain one of his creations for this occasion. No half measures for Lord Yuan Shao. Here, take my greatest masterpiece. You're not going to get your hands a little bit. We don't want Yuan Shao and Liu Bei to join forces. We must prevent that. Xiao and Liu Bei are about to join forces. This isn't good. This is a treasure both majestic and delicate. It is a great honor. This is surely further proof of the splendor of Master Yuan Shao's town. I would be honored if you would allow me to fight under your command. I pledge to do all I can to bring peace to the people. Master Yuan Shao, I must thank you for calling on us, even though we have neither military force nor land of our own. Do you really think we can trust him, brother? How do we know he doesn't just want to use us and then get rid of us? Zhang Fei, mind your manners. Ha ha ha! It's fine, I know you must all be tired and enervated by being harassed by Cao Cao. But we are comrades now. You may rest easy. Master Yuan Shao, thank you. But it was my understanding that you had another sworn brother. The one with the splendid beard. Guan Yu, he was fighting bravely to hold back Cao Cao's forces when I'm afraid he went missing. Oh, I see. That is a great shame. Thank you for your concern, but in fact, I know that Guan Yu is still alive. I can feel it. Anyway, we must go and prepare for battle. We will return later, my lord. Unfortunately, it seems the man you were hoping for is no longer with them, my lord. Not, not at all. I have obtained more comrades in my quest to slay Cao Cao. There can be no greater joy. Indeed. Master Zhang Fei is a peerless warrior. Master Liu Bei is also quite capable. They are without a doubt a worthy addition to our forces.
Lord Yuan Xiao, our battle ranks have been reformed, and we are ready for battle as soon as you give the word. We have ample provisions, too. I feel like no one can beat us this time. Not even Cao Cao. Good. Everyone, all is in order. Together we will slay Cao Cao and I will raise to my rightful position as conqueror of this land. Master Yuan Shao, Cao Cao's army is taking up position to prevent our march south into the Central Plains. I see. This tension we're all feeling, it must mean the final battle is upon us. Indeed. Master Yuan Shao, I understand that you and Master Cao Cao share quite a history. We know each other from our days in Luoyang. We used to get up to all sorts together. I'm afraid we created some amount of trouble for those around us. But while we were once friends, we are no more. I am prepared to strike him down and become the true conqueror of this land. Listen, everyone. Now is the hour we must slay Cao Cao and make my rule over the land absolute. Leave everything to us, my lord. The land shall belong indisputably to you, my lord. Brave warriors, go forth and claim the glory that is rightfully ours! We must claim victory in this battle against Cao Cao. All forces advance with the bearing and grace of the nobility. I may not be of much use to you, but I pledge to do what I can to help your cause, Master Yuan Shao. Got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. Wen Shao. We have known each other for a long time, but only one of us can rule this land. <laughs> Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Insolent fool! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Been 
determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. to its defense. Men are nothing to be afraid of. This is a mighty victory for the majesty and grace of the noble Yuan clan. Even though Master Wen Chao and the others are gone, there is still a big difference between the size of our forces. If we manage to surround them, we can still easily win. Our enemy will think of that and plan for it. We should use the terrain to our advantage and trap them. Everyone, there is no beauty in this talk of surrounding and trapping. The enemy's far from their support. We, on the other hand, have the depot at Wu Chao. If we wait calmly, the enemy's supplies will run out and they'll be unable to fight. And that, my friends, is our king battles. I understand all of your suggestions. But in this battle, I will face Cao Cao's troops head on! Why would you do that? In the name 
of my family. I need to decide this fairly. Because that is the battle against Cao Cao that I desire. I see there are no disagreements. Hmm. We will win this battle and forge the foundation of a new world. I expect you all to fight your best. Huh? Yuan Shao dominated the battlefield at Guangdu, thereby placing him in an advantageous position for his showdown with Cao Cao. He approached the battle against his old friend with the right to rule the land on the line. Yuan Shao remained true to himself, looking to attack Cao Cao head on. Inspired by their leader's bravery, the morale of Yuan Shao's men was at an all-time high. Indeed, the path of the noble Yuan Shao radiated with clarity and purpose. My lord, Cao Cao's forces have pulled back from the fighting. It looks like they're fleeing to Shu Chong. Hmm. Hmm. He should have known. You could never hope to stand against me. I heard that you and him were friends when you were both younger. So what happened? Why this fight? If he really was indeed my friend, he would have helped me, and he would have supported me as well. But he forgot his place and chose to challenge me for control instead. And so, I had to punish him for his arrogance. My elite troops, we must bring order. Our time to govern this land begins now. Justice, prestige, it all rests with the Yuan family. So, follow me to glory. Oh!